What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlook here. Since I'm about Scream 6 in this video once again because we just got the very best Scream 6 poster out of the bunch that we've received so far. This newly released poster is filled with so many things that could be could be potentially teasing some big plot details in the upcoming movie or it could just be easter eggs related to previous movies, previous characters, and you know previous big things that are important to the series or that have been important to the series since Scream 2 like the Stab franchise. Uh, I will say this before I start jumping into some of the other big details that I know have been jumping around over on Scream Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, everywhere. This poster, if you look closely enough, it's hiding what I was able to find like four or five. I'm been told there's six killers it's hiding. One is standing in the crowd, one is in the taxi, another one is off in the crowd, and there's a few others that some people were able to pinpoint that was like three i named off but when i was first originally looking at this poster i'm like they hid some ghost faces in this poster if you zoom in and kind of inspect it there's one for sure in the taxi i know when i started zooming in just to see what else was there i'm like wow this is a pretty cool poster that's filled with some unique hidden things now just to go into some of the other epicness of this poster that one of the biggest things that came out of this poster is related to the McKinsey's. We'll get to that in a second. This epic poster teases the Stab musical once again. It has something related to Gail's morning show in it and a vicious series of murders involving the McKinsey's once again. Now, by once again, I'm saying that because the McKinsey's were first introduced to us back in 1996 and then briefly returned in Scream 2022, aka Scream 5, because I believe Liv McKenzie ended up being our very first McKenzie to actually be seen on screen. And she apparently is supposed to be connected to the McKenzie that we first were told about in the 1996 movie. Now, the McKenzie family has apparently been found dead, according to this headline in this poster, been found dead in a series of stabbings. I'm curious if these murders tie into the bigger plot or if it's simply just another Easter egg. On one hand, maybe Samara Weaving might actually end up being named Laura McKenzie, a McKenzie family member working in New York as a film professor. And if this new killer is targeting relatives of those closely linked to the family or survivors of Scream 5, then maybe that's why Samara becomes a target. It actually says on the poster, McKenzie family found murdered in a series of stabbings in the city. So this could be just another way to misdirect us. It could be their way of telling us that the McKenzie's are in New York as well and Ghostface tracked them down and took them out. If not, and the killer is trying to frame Sam once more, not only for this new spree, but also to, of course, convince the public of this rumor she's dealing with that she's the one responsible for the events of Scream 5 and that Amber and Richie were innocent. Maybe that is why our new killers target those linked to the family that we first met in the original, because we know that's what was happening in Scream 5. This would only amplify the Sam conspiracy theorists and they'll be like, see, she's still out here taking out the relatives tied to the massacre her father started, because that's what Amber and Richie were actively doing in screen five so by continuing that you could then only fuel those delusional individuals who think that amber and richie were innocent and be like look sam is still out here doing what she was doing in five and framed richie and amber for so that would be pretty smart on the killer's end if that was why they were going after them to further get the public to con or to further convince the public that what they think about Sam is true. Not only is she doing this, she's the one responsible for what we know they're actually responsible for occurring in New York when they go after the rest of the survivors that are associated with the Carpenters, Chad, Mindy, going after Gail, and whatever other newcomers we have in the mix. So the poster also teases a Halloween parade, which might explain the costumes we see all over the city and on the sub during the teaser and the trailer that's been released for the movie so far. Not only is it Halloween night, but there seems to be a big parade that's being celebrated. Stab the musical, I feel, will just be a background event that has come and gone, and it won't hold any real weight to the story as an active event. Like, it won't be anything you should expect to see on screen in your face. We're going to sit down. The characters, first of all, the characters wouldn't even attend this. Maybe Mindy. <laughs> maybe Mindy, but everyone else, I don't see them attending this, especially if Sydney Prescott was here, she definitely would not be attending this shit. She would not be attending this. So 
What it could be useful for, it might be useful in helping us understand how Gail chose to move on from Dewey and cope with her loss. Perhaps she's also written a new book that she claimed that she wouldn't write in Screen 5, but maybe she had a change of heart and just needed to write something to cope with her loss. Uh, but the musical itself, that, that's not going to have any real significance in the movie like an actual event that we get to see there's no way there's no way maybe that ties into why we see a theater location with the stab movies present in them maybe what's happened is this musical production is being marketed with the re-release of pr a previous stab entries maybe that's what's going on instead of getting a proper stab requel that amber and richie wanted the only thing that's happened is you've had a re-release of the previous stab movies but the only reason they were re-released is to hype up the new play that's coming out based off of gail weathers new book based off of her previous original book maybe something like that is going down that could easily be why you have stabbed the musical in the movie but i think it's going to be an event that has come and gone i think that's going to be the biggest thing i think it's going to be something that has come and gone and it won't be something that you see any of the characters go out of the way to sit through again unless they're unless they're mindy because i don't even think chad would go see this the brief interaction they had at uh Amber's house in Screen 5 is proof of that enough. He didn't even want her looking at this stab movie where their uncle gets killed. He's like, you're just going to watch this? <laughs> so he, I don't see him going out to this. I can see Mindy going to it, but not, not Chad. So you guys can let me know what you think about the poster down in the comment section below. What other things stood out to you? Again, there's some ghost faces hidden in the crowd if you zoom in. There's talks about Gail Weathers' morning show, which I think might be more relevant to the overall story for Gail than the actual musical itself. Uh we see that the mckenzie's are being targeted once more they do highlight blackmore university and as it comes just to talk about blackmore really quick before i wrap up this video blackmore has not been highlighted in the fashion that i thought it would have been in any of the marketing for scream 6 and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but i'm kind of glad because i know when we first found out they were going back to college you heard, oh, this is just Scream 2 all over again. I kind of like that they probably are not going to be on college that much. They're relying on the city, which is smart. If you were to set this in New York and rely on the college campus, I think that would be foolish. I think that might be even more foolish than Jason Takes Manhattan. <laughs> to have the whole movie set literally in New York at a college in New York, and instead of focusing on the larger city, you focus on this college campus, something that's already been done in Scream 2. I don't think that the college campus is going to be that big of a deal in Scream 6, uh, but we're probably going to see just brief, brief clips of it and brief mentions of the students talking about their life on Blackmore more than we spend time on Blackmore. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.